friends. So I'm about to wash my face. I was going to do this before I started, but hey, what the heck? It's real life. Um, rocking the mascara eyeballs, and I need to get the crud off my face. <laughs> You guys worry. I'm about to go for coffee number two. I decided to wash my face because Olivia saw this here and I'm sure these. Mm. And she said, you got boo boo mama? And I told her I said, no, the zip fairy kissed me. <laughs> so there's that. Someone's choking on something. Jacob. What you choking on? What's in your mouth? Oh my gosh, I swear. Were you just eating a rubber band? Hmm? One of your sister's little hair ties? Trying to eat it? Not good. Look, I got something. This is the water. This is water? Mm-hmm. Okay, like it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Drink it. You can drink it. Silly. Those used to be your cups when you were a baby. I do. <laughs> yeah. I like it. You like it. Jameson, yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Come on, let's go in here. Yeah, that's your other brothers. <laughs> hey. Hello. The boys are a little bit feverish this morning. I think they're just teething. Um... I need to give them both some Tylenol, but. They're... Jacob's extra ill this morning, which is weird. He's usually my happy baby, so I'm not sure what's going on. I think he's just cutting more teeth. Later. Well, that was a little bit unexpected. <laughs> um, I laid the boys down for their morning nap, and then Olivia and I went into my bedroom, and she grabbed her iPad and climbed up into my bed, and I just did your typical, like, mom throws herself on the bed type ordeal, just to do it um but then i woke up an hour later so <laughs> obviously i needed a nap so that's what i got i just got all the kids dressed i need to get myself dressed this shirt's like super cute but it smells bad because i forgot to put deodorant on last night and i've been running around like crazy so um i need to get myself dressed and maybe throw a little bit of makeup on <laughs> Just my face is breaking out pretty bad because it's like you, Aunt Flo is about to come you. to town. I need to pick up a few things. Ben needs like new razors. Um, he uses those like the Harry razors or whatever. Um, uh -oh. Harry's I think. And they think they sell those at Target. So I need to go get him some refills. Um, I need to get some more Tylenol because the boys are teething like crazy. And they've been having a fever. I need to go put myself together. Ooh, blush, girl. Okay, so... We are about to head out. There are a lot of teenagers walking around my neighborhood right now. We are about to head out and goodness, I like totally overdid it on the blush. Blend this baby. I forgot to do this step, which I usually always do, just to make sure that I'm not looking crazy. Okay, I think that's probably better. Okay, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I was just in a hurry, so I forgot to do my last step, which is where I uh, just like kind of take my powder brush and blend everything on my face together. So, yeah. So, we have like a pocket door in our bathroom that leads to our bedroom, like one of those sliding doors that goes into the wall. <sighs> Olivia, I had closed the door to the bathroom because I didn't want any of the babies in there. I all of a sudden hear Olivia and Jameson in the bathroom and I was like, come on, come out. So Olivia comes out, but she decides she's gonna close the door on Jameson and leave him in there. 
So I was like, Olivia, open the door and let him out. She goes to open the door and I hear him start screaming bloody murder. And I was like, what the actual heck? So as I walked over there, I couldn't even get my face like in the door to see what was going on. But I had a good feeling that she had closed his hand in the pocket, like as she was sliding it. So I like pulled the door shut until I like heard him come down off the door. And when I opened it, poor little guy, he got his ring finger and his pinky squished so hard in the door, all the way up to his knuckle, let's see. Can mama see your fingers? Let me see your fingers. Which one? I think it was these here. But they look fine now. They're just a little bit swollen and red, but yeah, he's fine. Say, but everybody's arguing this morning. Yeah, it died, yeah, it needs to be charged. Yeah. This guy is in a horrible mood today. He's so ill. She is just torturing both of them, and this guy is just along for the ride. He's actually being pretty good. I need to go ahead and go over to Target and get the things I need to get done done. And this toddler is about to work my nerves. It's mine. All right, you guys. I am all in the business of keeping it real with you. And today is one of those days where I literally just want to scream and punch something. <laughs> like my heart is racing and I'm so frustrated. <sighs> my kids are driving me insane. Absolutely insane. Whoever said that two was hard obviously hadn't had a three year old yet because hey. Olivia will be three next month. Not next month in two months she'll be three in like two months and I am struggling everything I say not to do she does repeatedly if I reprimand her she doesn't care we have spanked doesn't work I have put her in timeout doesn't work I have yelled doesn't work I have gentle parented doesn't work I am going absolutely insane she is driving me up torturing her brothers so far today we have had multiple tantrums the boys are teething so they are extra pissy Jacob has a scream that could break glass and anytime Olivia walks near him or something takes him off today he shrill screams Jameson's fingers have been slammed into a sliding door um, heads have been hit on the floor because the boys are they just learned to set themselves up and they are still new so they're throwing themselves down and smacking their head on our hard ground like ugh, it's just been such a struggle I have pulled things out of their mouths and for those of you who are gonna say well keep your floor, floor clean you obviously don't have kids because I can clean my house a million times over and by the time I'm done every room has been destroyed because that one goes right behind me and just dumps everything out I kid you not the girl takes her bucket of toys, throws it on the ground, and walks away. Doesn't even care to play with it. She just wants to make a mess. Looked it out at her a second ago, and she had taken my brand new pack of diapers, pulled the first half, which is like 20 diapers or more, out, and was just holding them, and just threw them on the ground. I'm going insane. Y'all pray for me. It has been a really long, hard day. <sighs> Deep breaths. I haven't even eaten today, and it's almost 2 o'clock. Like, it's just been one of those days. It's been insane. So, I'm going to go get this done. I'm going to get myself some food, and hopefully the kids will fall asleep. Because we live pretty far away from everything. Hopefully they'll fall asleep, and they will be good for me while we were out. Please be good for me while we're out. I may vlog. I may not. Because you never know how it's going to go. So, see you when I see you. Well, we just got to Target, and... Olivia is asleep. So I'm debating if I should wake her up and take her inside or stay here for a little while until she gets like at least a little bit of a nap in. You guys, I'm so tired. It's crazy. Maybe I will baby wear one of the babies, let her sit in the stroller and yeah, I'm going to try that. See what she thinks. She'd probably hate it and scream and get pissed, but we'll see. Okay, just got back in the car from Target. Did not vlog in there. It's literally a madhouse in there. There's so many people. I guess they're getting like last minute Thanksgiving things and Christmas presents and that sort of thing. Crazy. Um, so putting Olivia in the stroller worked for like half a second and then she wanted to get out and walk, which is fine. She did well. 
want to show you guys what I got really quick. So this was in the $3 section and I thought it was so cute and I thought it would be really cute on my bookshelf um, that I have in the living room. These were in the dollar section at Target and they're just like little bear hats and they're lined with like really soft material. So I got two of those and then I got a pink cat one for Olivia. Olivia, can you hold up your hat and show everyone? Show everybody your hat. She's putting it on backwards, but you guys get the idea. It's the same concept. It's just a kitty cat and it's lined with that same soft material. And then I got some Tylenol for the boys because they're teething and some Harry's um, razor heads for my man because poor guy is struggling to shave these days because his razor is so dull. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Made this long trip for razor heads, hats, and a Christmas sign, but whatever. See you soon. guys, I literally cannot even explain to you what that trip was like, but I'm going to try. Okay. <sighs> I'm trying to like compose myself. <laughs> so... I decided that instead of. I want my cat hat. I want my cat hat. I want my cat hat. My cat hat. Instead of waiting till Ben got home to go to the grocery store, I figured I would just go ahead and knock it out so I wouldn't have to leave again. Because I have to go home and straighten up the house before my sister gets here. Um, Hi. And instead of getting our stroller out, which consists of. Me getting out, getting the first part of the stroller out, putting my bag in, clipping the bottom seat in, getting one baby out, clipping him in, getting another baby out, clipping him in, getting Olivia out, making sure she doesn't kill anyone or herself. I decided that there was a children's buggy right beside my van. It was like one of those race car ones. You guys saw it in the clip. Um, I decided I would just put the boys in that. That way I didn't have to worry about my stroller. I could just get them in that real quick. And then Olivia could like hold on to it and we could just stroll through, get what we need. And of course it did not freaking work out the way I planned. So Olivia kept knocking her head on everything because she kept throwing her head backwards. And then um, she hit her head on another lady's buggy and the lady looked at me like I was crazy. And then... I mean, I was just like dodging people's eyes because I know I looked insane. Then, sorry, my hand's like all in the way. Then we get tortilla shells, which Olivia loves to eat by themselves, just like flour tortillas. And she gets them out of the buggy and she's like, I'm going to hold these. And I was like, no, Olivia, let's put them down because I didn't want her to like squish them and break them because she loves to just destroy stuff. She would not let go of the freaking tortillas. I had to like jerk them away from her and yell at her at the same time, right in the middle of like the busiest aisle in Kroger. And people like turned their head and looked at me and I just like, I'm a super nice person, but I'm too, I'm like at my wits end today. And I'm to the point where like, I would have just snapped back at someone had anybody like said anything. Um, so when we first get in the store, 
when I was putting Jameson in his car seat, I realized he had a stinky diaper. Yay. So I have them in this cart and the pup like the real big restroom the like shared bathroom way too small to pull a grocery cart into but they have other restrooms over by the pharmacy that are like single use restrooms family size restrooms so I, it's big enough to pull the small grocery cart into so i did and um like of course olivia was screaming the whole time not like upset screaming but like happy two and a half year old screaming um, and the boys were yelling because they were excited to be in the grocery cart with the steering wheels and all the stuff. And I could hear people outside talking and someone was like, yeah, she took the whole cart in there. And I was just thinking like, I swear, someone say something. Someone say something. Um, thankfully a lady was so kind and helped me because like I changed both, both the boys diapers, let Olivia go potty. But then I was like trying to get back out of the door and I could not for the life of me get out of the door. This lady like held it open for me, but I don't know. I just was so embarrassed that whole trip. I literally almost left in tears. So I bought myself a Coke. I'm just at my wits end today. I don't... This is real life, you guys. This is real life of a mom. Like you can only handle so many screams and fussing and fighting for one day. And I can't, like, some of you are probably gonna say like, well, wait until your husband gets home, but my husband works long hours and it's just, it's hard for me to wait to get all of my stuff done for the day when my husband gets home. And I can't talk about what my husband does. I can't talk about his job. So, like, when people make comments, I just, like, I can't. I think I'm going to end the vlog here today. I don't, I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore. I don't, my mind cannot handle it today. And I don't just, I just don't want to be negative for the rest of the day. So, Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Um, sorry it was kind of all over the place and kind of like blah, crazy. Um, I don't even know what all I got. Honestly, like my mind is just in a million different places. But if you liked what you saw, don't forget to give our video a big thumbs up. We like to keep it real over here at this tangled web, so it's not gonna always be happy. Go lucky some days it's gonna be messy with crazy toddler and crazy twins who are pissed off at the world because their teeth are bothering them or their sister's driving them crazy and a mom who's trying not to rip her hair out. So I'm going to get off of here, go home and clean my house and enjoy my sister this evening and we will pick up tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little notification bell beside the subscribe button so that you can get notified when we upload. We're trying to do more <laughs> than we have been so yeah. Oh, want to see what happens when you give a toddler a biscuit in the van? Yeah. This. Say bye. Bye, peeps.